tonight. From Acrisure Stadium in Pittsburgh. It's Thursday night football on EA Sports. It's the Pittsburgh Steelers taking on the Houston Texans. At the confluence of the three rivers, the Ohio, the Allegheny, and the Monongahela, we are here at Pittsburgh's Acrisure Stadium. Tonight we kick off week seven with a great Thursday night matchup here between the Houston Texans and the Pittsburgh Steelers. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team... And we will not see a run back on the opening kickoff. This will be a touchback. So the Steelers offense getting set for their first drive. As we get a peek at the former Red Raider and 10th pick in the 2017 draft, Patrick Mahomes. Okay, I thought there was something to build on in last week's game by his performance. I thought he played fairly well overall. The, the numbers won't knock your socks off. Two touchdown passes and an interception. The bottom line, though, they lost. Yeah. How does he eliminate that one interception, continue to take care of the ball, and maybe increase the number of times he puts the ball in the end zone with a receiver? And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Meanwhile, the Holmes throw complete to McBride. Give him a gain of five on the completion. And now third down and six to go. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Throwing is Mahomes on third. He'll drop this down to Williams. And I don't think he got there, no. He's short by maybe a foot, maybe. Call it fourth and inches. On fourth down, here's Presley Harvin on to punt. Back deep, Naheem Hines. Only two punts for him last week in the loss as he gets this one away. Officially, that'll go as a 52-yard punt, not too shabby. And the Texans are going to have the football with a first and 10 deep in their own territory. So out comes the offense now with a long field ahead of them. And they are led out there by their mobile quarterback. And I think if you ask most folks to give you their first half MVP, very likely they're going to say it's this man right here, the NFL's leader in touchdown passes to this point in the season. Still two months to go, but if he can keep going to the pace he's at, this is going to be a dangerous team come January, and he could very well walk away with the MVP. And yeah, that's good for a gain of six, and that'll make it second down. Opening carry of the game for Cordero Patterson. This will be a short gain of three before he's brought down at the 22. That's some good tackling there to keep him short of that yellow line. Yeah, defensively, all I'm thinking is that on that play, get me to third and down. Get me into a position where I can make one more play and get my defense off the field. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. The Texans at 5-1 and one here in this early part of the season. They're in a real groove of late. Winners of five of their last six. And I thought that they played pretty well last week. Their execution, their discipline, their resilience, all on display in that victory. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. And there is Amari Cooper, his first catch. And he's out of bounds, able to take this one up to the 35. The 
Play action fake. They'll look to throw. They'll roll him out right. Again, it's Cooper as he makes the catch. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. Operating out of Steeler territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. Back to throw again. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. He couldn't get rid of it. He takes a sack for a loss of six to bring up second down. Now back to throw. And he'll complete this one to Patterson. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45. Charles, Thursday night game, I think a lot of teams probably say shrink the playbook somewhat. Is that correct? I think you're right about that because you just don't have the amount of time that you have in a normal week to put in a full playbook. So as you said, you shrink the playbook, pick out the plays that work best for you. You know what else you're looking for? It's a, who are the freshest guys coming off the last game to play on a Thursday night? Guys have a little extra pep in their step. You go to them early and often. That's on target, but it's no good. He had it on line, but it came up just shy of the crossbar, and this will remain a scoreless game. Well, he might be the best kicker the game's ever seen, and we've seen him hit from 66, which is the all-time record. But anything 60-plus, that's a very low percentage kick. Don't tell him. He doesn't believe it. But this one winds up no good. The numbers from McBride a week ago. Six catches, 66 yards. And he was able to pull that last pass in, but he's going to face a tall order here because he's going up against the number two unit in the NFL against the pass. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. We're scoreless after one. Mahomes now on first down. And this is caught. Touchdown. Nelson Aguilar. His second touchdown on the season. And the Steelers post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. Extra point right down the middle. And it's now a 7-0 game. So they only needed three plays on that drive. And it was capped by the touchdown pass to Nelson Aguilar. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. As mentioned, this one of the hottest teams in the NFL, riding that winning streak into this one, but now playing here on Thursday. And that's caught inside the 35. And he steps out of bounds, but not before he gets inside the 35. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. He's airing it out for Williams. And got his man. It's caught. Touchdown, Houston. Jamison Williams. His first touchdown on the year. And the Texans are an extra point away from evening this one up. Tucker with the extra point, and we are tied at seven. Well, partner, I mean, if anybody was still questioning whether or not he had an NFL caliber arm, I think you can toss that right out the window. That was a heck of a throw right there. I would agree totally. Question it no more. This rookie... Big time throw right there. Great poise, stepped up, trusted he could lay it in there perfectly, and he knew that his guy was going to make the catch on the other end. Nice collaboration. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And they come into this one off the loss over the weekend, but you say if you're going to play a Thursday night game, this is the week to do it. It certainly is because you get right back out there, you don't have time to dwell on things. And look, your game plan is going to be a little more limited, but so is theirs. So that's when you just appeal to your top players. Guys, you make plays in this one, we out execute them, we can walk away with a win. A gain of 10, good for a Steeler first down. Well, that was a pretty favorable situation there. What would you call that, second and manageable? Smart play, too. Didn't force it downfield when he didn't have it. Just checked it down, let him get the first down, and that's exactly what he did. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. 
Two minutes gone by second quarter. On second down, Williams. Call it no gain that time as it's going to leave him with a third and about three to go. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Algier will try to pick it up. And he's going to be stopped up at about the 47-yard line. He needed three. He got two. Now that'll set up an interesting situation here on fourth and a yard. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. And the football going back over now to the Houston Texans. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. On play action, they'll throw. He'll buy some time right on the run. He'll let it go deep, right sideline. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. Jordan Berry out to punt on fourth down. Take it in at the 22. A pretty good punt there, but also a nice return at 12 yards. And the Steelers will go on offense here, first and 10. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. As we eat closer and closer to intermission, Charles, remember last time out they punted. They would love to get points here, especially if this is going to be their final possession of the first half. Yeah, and this is what close games feel like because the pressure is on both sides, but sometimes the pressure is a little bit higher on the team with the slight edge because they're trying to hold on to that, trying to increase it. Let's see how this one continues. Finding Williams once more, complete. On the move past the 40. Still on his feet, and he'll be forced out of bounds all the way down inside the 20. A big play there just before halftime. 41 yards. Operating from the red zone now, Mahomes looking middle, and that's complete. And in for the Steelers' touchdown. Nelson Aguilar. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Steelers will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. Point after, right down the middle. And that makes the score 14 to seven. Here's the Steelers kick team as they'll boot this one away. And this taken in at the goal line. Now a hit and a loose football. And it's picked up by the Steelers. And his guys are going to get the football at the 23-yard line. On first and 10, here's Mahomes. And all the way down inside the 5 to the 4. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Week seven action, and we've got a seven-point game here in the second quarter. And this offense hoping to change. Got his man. It's caught for a Steelers touchdown. T. Higgins from four yards out. And the Steelers will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Extra point splits the uprights, and it's now 21-7. Well, that drive started with not a whole lot of real estate in front of them in plus territory. Excellent field position. Two plays later, Pater. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And with him down two scores, you wonder if they might try and put something together, even if it's just to get into field goal range. 
Throw out right, take it in by Patterson. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Now the Texans will burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop him with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. Being chased out left. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. So from the 36 now, first and 10. They'll drop to throw. Sliding out of the pocket. On the run, he'll let it go deep. Right sideline. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. They gave it a shot with a deep pass, but it wasn't going to work there. And now there's less time for them to try and get three before the half. Let's see what they dial up on this next snap. Got a man, it's Patterson complete. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. And the Steelers now in the nickel here on third down. They'll look to throw here. Wide open, Amari Cooper. And they're going to have themselves another first down as the tackle's made at the Steelers' 38-yard line. Nice third down conversion at even 20 yards. Now with five seconds left, not really enough time to run another play and then stop it. So on comes the field goal unit. And he has got it from 55 yards away. That was never in down. And that will get the disadvantage now back down to 11. So he missed his first attempt, remember, but this time he gets back on the bike and knocks it home. Dan, sometimes that first one can really impact you moving forward. It can just stay with you too long and affect everything else you do during the game. In this case, though, able to shake it off. He's riding high again. The final second ticks by, and that's going to do it for the first half of play. So we reach halftime here in the Steel City with the Steelers on top. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, guys, thanks very much. We'll get back with you shortly. But first, let's take a look at what's coming up this weekend around the NFL. Some very intriguing games in that early window, highlighted by the one going on at the Superdome. A big test for the Saints as they'll take on the visiting Indianapolis Colts. Good stuff going on later in the afternoon as well, especially down in Miami, where it will be the Dolphins out on the West Coast. More good stuff in the late afternoon as we'll be watching the game at SoFi Stadium, where it will be the Chargers. And then lastly, the nation gets a good one on Sunday night between the New England Patriots and the Kansas City Chiefs. Meanwhile, in our game, it's been a back and forth first half. Who can put it together in the second half? For the answer, we turn it back over to our broadcast team of Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you very much as we welcome you back for quarter number three. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. This offense, Charles, had a strong first half throwing the football, at least in terms of yardage, but that hasn't translated so far on the scoreboard as they begin the third quarter here trailing and looking for a little momentum. Yeah, you're right about that because, you know, let's face it, in the first half, most of their focus was in the passing game, and to their credit, resulted in a healthy amount of yardage. So I would think that at halftime, they're going to anticipate. And this is caught inside the five. And he will reach the five-yard line before going out of bounds. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. They'll set up to throw. Forced out to his left. And he's in. Touchdown, Houston. A five-yard touchdown run. And the Texans have cut it back within a score. They'll look to throw. And it's intercepted at the goal line. It's N'Kobe Dean with a pick. Well, as 
most teams do in their two-point attempt, they pass the ball. Instead, it gets intercepted. And remember, if you pick it off, you got a chance to take it all the way back at two points yourself, right? Yeah, not the case there, but that's why you got to be really careful with those throws, especially to the outside. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And maybe some renewed pressure on this unit following the touchdown a moment ago. It's back to a one-score game. And because of that pressure, because it's now a one-score game, they know this is where you need to slow the momentum change because otherwise that could overrun your team. You've got to be careful right here. Mahomes to throw on second down. That's complete to McBride. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. Mahomes to throw on third and one. Got a man. It's McBride complete. And he will have a Steelers first down and comfortably so as he gets five there on third and a yard. First and ten, it's Algier. And some space here. And a strong run that time as he's across midfield and down to the 43. So first and ten now in Houston territory at the 43. So first down, and they'll stick with Algier. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. On second, here's Algier. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. Two yards on the pickup, and that's all they needed to move the sticks. Now they'll throw with Mahomes. And he'll spot Higgins open left side. So the completion results there in nine yards. And that'll give him a short yardage situation here for second down. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. Completes it to Aguilar. And they're going to get this down inside the 15. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. And again, it's Mahomes. This complete left side to Aguilar. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. here in this Thursday night matchup. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. And the Steelers on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This time they face a third and two. Throwing it a traffic there, and that's complete. And the Steelers are going to have first and goal coming up as they're able to convert there on third and two. Williams. The loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. On play action, it's Mahomes. And caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Steelers. T. Higgins with his second touchdown of the night. And the Steelers look like they're going to get back in the win column as they extend their lead here in this fourth quarter. Extra point right down the middle, and it gives his guys a 12-point advantage. Here's the Steelers' kick team as they'll boot this one away. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. 
And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And you figure after giving up that last touchdown, you know, they trail by two scores here in the fourth quarter. This drive becomes very critical. And it's knocked away and incomplete. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. They'll set up a throw. Steps away. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Randy Gregory buries him for a loss of 11 from his outside linebacker spot. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Rolling to his right. On the run, he'll let it go deep. Right sideline. He rifles one that's intercepted. Sauce Gardner picks it off. Yeah, and the yeah, Steelers are going to have the short field here as they'll take over right at the 50. So after the INT, here's Mahomes. And he's going to go down. The Texans come at him and able to bring him to the ground. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. Another try after the first down sack. Mahomes, and he's got some space here. And he will not get all the way home, but he will take this back down to about the two-yard line. Now how about this starting field position? First and goal from two yards out. Patterson will take this one in for a Texans touchdown. Well, the big play prior to this one got him down there, and they're able to stick it in on the very next snap. And I think those last two plays, that's what you're talking about, balance, right? Big pass play, puts them in position, turn right around and hand it off, and you've got a running play that finishes it off in the end zone. And with a successful two-point try, the QB rolling out, I would imagine, on the defense, that makes it tough. When you, he goes out, he's got the option to run or pass. Yeah, it really does. If you decide not to bring extra people or extra pressure, maybe you have to have a spy on the quarterback, someone to account for him, because oftentimes, that is the unaccounted for player. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. After the touchdown we just saw, we have a brand new ball game. And now look at the situation. You've got plenty of time on the clock. Defensively, they have three timeouts. So do you run the football here or do you throw it? I think you have that full conversation with your offensive unit. And you tell them, here's the situation. They've got all of their timeouts. So we are not going to play this conservatively. We've got to attack them. We've got to make them use those gain the ground that we need in order to put this game away. If you think we're just going to run it three times and punt it, you've got another thing coming. Yeah, I mean, by the way, also the two-minute warning in play, so essentially four timeouts left. They have to be aggressive here. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. I have to imagine this will be on the ground as well as they come up second and seven. They'll try and run down some clock with Williams. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. Now this is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. Now Mahomes. Screen play set up for Williams. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. And when you have success throwing the football, the old cliche becomes true. The playbook opens up wide. And these screen passes, they become even more difficult to stop. down carry it's Williams and he'll just plow right into a host of tacklers nothing there at all and it'll be second and ten officially nothing on that last run they'll try again second and ten on the counter here's Algier 
And he's going to be met at about the 43. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. Now play number seven of this drive, but it's a tough third and nine. And play is stopped here. Timeout. It's the defense calling the timeout here. As the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go in the game. The first down line at the 34 here on third down. And they'll indeed take a knee. Listen, anytime you take a knee to end a game, that means you've won it. So it doesn't matter whether it's home or on the road, but there's something a little extra special about doing it in front of your home crowd, isn't there? <laughs> and the home crowd applauding. They're happy with what they've seen. Chalk this one up in the left-hand column for a win. Yeah, that's right. Head to the locker room, throw the wristbands in the crowd for the kids, your gloves, your towels. Get to share it with the home team. What a game we were treated to in this one. And on that final play, they had a chance. They had the ball just beyond midfield for one final shot, but couldn't get it done, and they suffered the loss. Yeah, and you mentioned how they had a chance on that final play, and getting it to midfield gave them that opportunity, hoping they could find their way to the end zone and make that miracle happen. A really good ending to an entertaining contest, though. So for the Steelers, they move back over 500 now at four.